Hi. How are you? I am doing pretty good. I have a bad headache. I have not been drinking enough water for like a week, so. Uh, it's a pretty light headache, all things considered. Um, and I'm somehow managing to get things done. Brooke is being really good. Oh, I love uh, giving her a bath like way earlier than I expect. Um, like normally I give her a bath around six in the summertime. Now that it's becoming autumn, it just gets dark so much earlier and I don't want her going to bed with wet hair. So I got her in the bath. I think I ran the bath at like 4.30. She probably didn't get in the bath until five. Um, yeah, and that's like 6.20, which on a normal day she would just be getting out of the bath but she's having yogurt. That's like all she asks for lately. She's like, yogurt, yogurt. So she had some with her breakfast. Now she's having some as a dessert. Um, she's just such a great kid. Excuse me, it's so fun. Um, it's so fun being a mom. It's an adjustment. Um, you know, to playing all the time, you kind of want to slide back into other activities where you're like what I just get to play I should just play <clears throat> so that's cool um I have so much laundry to do my next big goal for myself around the house is I really want to get the garage cleaned out uh so that I can like make that into a like linen room um, uh, slash studio because I like to make clothes and um, it makes the most sense at least when I like was productively making clothes to have them like close to my closet um, right now I can't like I, I wouldn't necessarily be able to set up a workshop in my room Oh, they say way that I could in the garage. So that's like what I'm trying to get myself settled towards. Because if there is a reality where I have like more than one day off in a week, um, I could, you know, be spending some of my free time with Brooke cutting up clothes and making clothes and doing things. Um, sewing and stuff like that. I just need a space because all that, you know, all that crafting stuff is kind of dangerous. Needles and scissors and stuff you don't really want little kids getting into without you watching them. Um, so yeah, I really like to do that. And making some lotions today. Um, my lotion. Uh, I was making my own lotion for a while, right? And I couldn't get, like, the, you know, the powerful fragrance that I wanted. Um, so, I think I'm at the point now where I've experimented enough with, like, other brands that I know, like, what I would want and how to be able to, you know make that in the last year or two I've been making a lot of different hair care products and the first batch that I made was like really greasy and then you know as I got better at it uh it became more of uh like a hair butter um so and my hair has grown a lot I it's crazy to me to see uh, just how much it's grown, especially since I've, like, totally changed up my routine after cutting it. 
Um, I'm washing my hair twice a week now, which is crazy to me. I never thought I would do that. Oh, but I have like way less hair fall doing it this way than I did before. And I'm also noticing that like my hair gets just as dirty. You know, like when I was washing it once a month, I was like, oh, wow. Or even once a week, I would notice how, you know, how gray the water would be when I would wash it. And, um, you know, that's why I would have to wash it a second time because it would look, it would rinse clean, you know, after that. But, um, the, yeah, it, it's crazy. Um, I'm like reducing my cigarette consumption. I think that greatly contributes to like the smokiness in my hair. Um, I just washed and it, it's still drying. I kind of have to put it up in a goofy little ponytail when it's drying. Otherwise it'll just like fall totally flat. So now I have like a little bit of volume, you know, but like, I don't know, it's just crazy to me. I can like see all the areas where my hair is just like, totally growing and it's like all around my crown which is like kind of a hard area to get um and like increase hair around so you can see I have more coming in I don't know I'm just like pretty proud of my results so um I don't like to gloat but like I know there's tons of people out there who want to keep their hair and like with, you can see how fine my hair is right um and if I had done like what people suggested that I do with my hair, um, I probably wouldn't have any because it's just, my hair is super, super fine, but it's like thick. It's like a weird combo. Like it's not as thick as like, uh, you know, other people's hair, but like it, I will have a lot of it, but like it's hard to tell because it is so, so fine. Um, so yeah body butter um <clears throat> hair butter been making a lot of different things this year uh and that's fun it's neat to learn how to make something that i like using um and that can help my hair like stay strong and healthy i definitely need to like put some more here uh where like i have my bangs uh, I have like you can I don't know it's cr you can see all those baby hairs there right like I'm not just like, tripping out it's like a bunch